we have a P35 Neo2 MSI motherboard. Uh, it's an uh, Intel motherboard again. P35 is a chipset and it runs on DDR2. DDR2 is a in uh, DDR2. SI9600 GT. Uh, this is 550 watt power supply. Eight zero here. Five hundred fifty watts. It's more exclusive to me. All right, but uh, for to make it quick, uh, I won't show show you all uh, how to fix the boss, but just see on page twenty six, uh. Alright, next one is to fix the motherboard the start, so we know it starts, uh, page 27, it's on the opposing page, you can see a uh, post install priority to mounting motherboard, uh, these are the silver ones over here, you must always remember to install it, if not you shut off the motherboard when you put it in. Alright, next one, we have fixing the CPU, that's on page number 30, okay, page number 30 basically is the whole page. Alright, so first thing, we have to open the socket, it looks like this. There's a latch here and a catcher. So press down, pull out, and turn it over. Okay? This handle, and then after that, pull out the top. Okay? Be careful not to bend the pins. Uh. If you bend the pins later, your CPU will have a bit of a problem. You probably won't start. Okay? So next thing, the CPU like this. We have the gold, all the gold pins here. There will be two gaps. There will be two gaps which are on the your left side. Now. Okay? And then in the socket as well, there will be two notches here and here. So just align them, put it in. Okay? Check for the alignment of the notches. Close. And then push it down. Okay? So, again. Uh, close. Push down, and then see that there's a lock here, pull it into the lock. That's all. Process it in. Okay, next thing is the heat sink. Heat sink, one, one thing, just to know that your arrows, the arrows and the heat sink has to face outward rather than inward. There will be four. Okay, this, this, was, this heat sink will come with the processor. Your CPU cannot run without this. The arrows, again, must face out and not in. If it's facing in means it's unlocking the unlocking the processor, uh, the heating. Okay, so basically just align with the four holes on the motherboard. Okay, and then in a diagonal fashion, when we push down the back pins, there'll be a double click sound. Okay, and so we go in diagonal fashion, this way, this way, this way, and then this way. After that, the 4 pin fan header just connect to where it says CPU fan on the monologue. Okay, so how we check whether it's mounted properly or not? You see all these uh, white and black uh, pins behind? As long as the black portion is at the same level as the white portion, more or less it's locked in really. Okay, so just do the check on all 4. Okay, so next thing, we will go to installing the RAMs. We you can look at it on the next page, which is page 31. Okay, if it doesn't go in, don't force it. Lah. Then after that, just use the two thumbs and push it in. Okay, once you push it in, the, the these latches by the side will automatically close. Lah. Okay? Okay, so for this one, the hard disk goes down into the lower portion of the casing. Like this. Okay, there will be nine holes on the motherboard, but basically I'll just do one only so that we can uh, uh, faster. Okay. Okay, so basically the nine holes, right? Three at the top, three in the middle, and three at the bottom. Okay, next one we'll go will be the casing and the front panel connector. This one is always the part where everybody gets jumbled up. Lah. 
Okay, so this one you can look at it on uh, figure 2 and 5. Okay, so you can see there's all these reset switch, hard disk LED, power switch. It's, uh, these, these switches are meant for the front of the casing to connect onto the motherboard so if the motherboard knows when to on or what light to show, things like that. Okay, so <coughs> basically on the motherboard there will be pins like this one. Okay, the, for MSI it's a certain color code. Blue will be reset, black will be power, red will be the LED. LED has no plus and minus. The polarity that means it's, uh, LED has plus and minus. Switches don't have. So in this case, when we look at the hard disk LED, which will be indicated like this, HDD LED, the red will be the plus, white will be the minus. So the same for all. You see the switches, green will be plus, white will be minus. But since this is a switch, it doesn't matter whether plus or minus. Okay? So LED on the motherboard, we can see one side will be a plus. There will be a red plus, and then the other side will be full red. So the full red is the ground. Okay? So to save time, I'll just plug in one. Okay? For you guys to see. And you look something like this. All you have to do is just like this. Can you plug see it up higher? Okay. Just plug it in like this. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can you see? Can you see? Okay, so is that So basically we try to use the top slot always uh, the one that is closer to the CPU. Reason being that the second slot may not be 16x, which is the full actual bandwidth that a graphic card is supposed to have. Okay, so this piece is very simple. Align the slot and push it in. Okay? So as long as you don't see the see much of the golden the golden pins, uh, that means as long as you don't see these golden pins when you push it into the slot, more or less it's already secure. Uh. Okay, and the last one will be the power cables. This will be the 24 pin motherboard cable. If you don't plug this in, there's only one place to plug it in. If you don't plug this in, your motherboard has no power. Okay? Yeah, up. Okay, so for me, this case is at the side here over here. Next thing will be the 8 pin CPU power. That is actually this one here. Okay, we have uh, this 8 pin power here. Okay, if you don't plug this in, the motherboard will on, but the CPU will not have power. So, which means you won't see anything on the screen as well. Okay, so basically just plug it in. It only fits in one way because there's a clip like this one. There's a clip on one side and the other side is flat. Okay? So the last one will be for the graphic card, which will fit it behind it. Okay? So this will be the 6 pin one. Usually there will be only 2 or 2 to 4 6 pin connectors for your power supply. Okay? Hard disk wise, hard disk wise and optical drives usually we use this one. This will be a five uh, five wire SATA cable. And the older ones will use this four pin one, which I think quite a number of you have seen before. Okay, this four pin one. It doesn't matter which uh, four pin you use as long as it's four pin, as long as it's the same. Uh. So it, SATA SATA wise also is the same. It doesn't matter which uh, connector you decide to use. Alright? So now again we have a few questions. P35 Neo2, this motherboard, is it DR2 or DR3? Oh. Ah, quick, quick. Yeah. Okay, so this one is the first one.